Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of different classes to choose from. Whether you're a master and you want to hone your skills or if you're a beginner and you want to learn a new skill, Skillshare has what you need. I've taken so many classes at this point, including interior design, photography, how to keep house plans, illustration, so many different classes to learn something new or to hone skills that you already have. It's also a great way to find like-minded people and to join a community. So right now I'm taking Roxanne Gay's class, Creative Writing, Crafting Personal Essays with Impact. I've long admired her work, so it's such a treat to be able to take a class with her and to really get some of her insights. She writes with such a vulnerability and I appreciate that. So it's a real just joy to be able to take a class of hers. So if you'd like to try Skillshare for yourself, be one of the first 1,000 people to click the link down below and get one month of Skillshare free and start exploring your creativity. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now today I'm going to be making a recipe that a few of you have requested and it is another TikTok test and it is for yogurt toast, custard toast, it goes by a couple hashtags but essentially we're going to be making a very simple custard and placing it on toast and broiling it or baking it air frying it whatever you have with some fruit or chocolate toppings whatever you want to put to create this custardy toast very simply yeah it looks absolutely delicious and based on the ingredients that are in it it looks delicious as well but we will not get absolute confirmation until we actually put it in our mouth so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we need to do is make our custard. Now a traditional custard is made with eggs and milk and is cooked over some hot water so that the eggs can cook and stiffen and thicken up the custard to a pudding-like consistency. Now that requires some time. It requires a little bit of skill because you don't want to scramble the eggs. This custard is going to be a little bit different because we are going to be using an egg, but we're not going to be pre-cooking it. So let's test it out. First, we need an egg. Crack it into a bowl. Whoa, what happened there? Okay, no shell, that's good. And then we're going to need some yogurt, plain yogurt. So when I searched for custard toast on TikTok, the first account that came up was cooking with Aya. So I'm gonna be using their recipe loosely. One egg, and then we need two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is thicker in consistency than regular yogurt. And this is a two tablespoon measuring spoon. Isn't that handy? This recipe is perfect for adapting. If you don't want to use Greek yogurt, you can substitute sour cream, cream, plant-based cream, whatever you want to do that works for you. But you do need some kind of, kind of richness in addition to the egg. And now I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of honey. This is honey from my own hives. You can use maple syrup, you could use sugar, you could use agave, whatever sweetener you like. So we're just gonna mix that around. And if you want to make this cinnamony, you could add some cinnamon. I'm also gonna add a tiny pinch of salt. So we're gonna mix this around until everything is incorporated. Now my honey was a little bit crystallized, so I'm gonna to have to use a little bit more effort to get everything well combined. See, my honey's stuck in here. Get out, honey, it's okay. So once that is dissolved and incorporated, our custard is done. So simple, but will it taste good? Probably, I mean, come on, how could it not? You've got egg, yogurt, and honey. One of my favorite snacks in the world is yogurt with honey and fruit. Oh, and a little nuts if I've got them. So good, so simple. Okay, so custard's done. I've got chocolate here, of course. I've got a couple strawberries. I've got raspberries and blueberries. Now, speaking of TikTok, have you seen that one where you put the berries in the jar and you close them up and it keeps them fresh? Well, according to Ann Reardon, she said that it totally worked and I've tested out my raspberries and blueberries, put these in here 
and they're looking great. They're looking great. Now, I don't know the science behind this. I imagine it has something to do with keeping the moisture in the fruit, but these look great. They're not all dried and shrivelly or anything. So that's going to be my MO. I just put them in there directly out of the container into the jars. And then when I'm ready to eat them, I give them a little rinse. So great, right? Same with strawberries, but I find that strawberries don't fit in jars like these all that well. So a glass container that has a nice seal works great. So now let's build our toast. I'm going to make a couple versions because I want to know what this tastes like. So I'm going to do one with strawberries because I love strawberries. And this is just one piece of toast. So I think one giant strawberry is going to be plenty. I'm going to press this down a bit. Now I've already noticed a problem with my bread. I've got a couple of holes, so I think my custard is probably going to leak out a bit, but and my bread doesn't want to mush down. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers to try to mash it down a well, but it's not really happening. But that's okay. Now we're gonna take some of this custard and put it on our toast. Like this. It's kind of like French toast in some respects, right? Now this would be better if your bread would dent down, but mine won't. Okay, maybe after it's a little bit wet, it will. Artfully arrange your fruit onto the toast. And then we're going to pop this into the air fryer. Now the directions of course don't say how much custard to each thing, but maybe one batch of custard is enough for two pieces of toast. Not sure. Okay, now grab your air fryer, doo -doo -doo, plug it in and turn on the power. There we go. Now we're gonna air fry this at 400 degrees for about, it said 10 minutes. That seems terribly long time. So I'm gonna be cooking mine in the air fryer at 375 for about seven minutes, maybe a little less. I've never cooked this recipe before, but once it looks golden and beautiful, we're gonna call it done. If you don't have an air fryer, you can cook yours in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, again, until everything is golden and beautiful. Alrighty, I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Okay, my lovelies, the custard toast is finished and look, that looks great. Let me grab a spatula so we can scoop it out. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Behind me, I have the bake version going and I've got 31 seconds left on that one. But look at this. This looks great. Highly recommend using a little bit of parchment as well. Saves you on some cleanup. And yeah. Pretty lovely. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Custard toast, custard toast. Mine looks a little bit toasted, overly toasted, but. Oh, okay, let me go get the baked version. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Ooh, yes. Oh yeah. All right, we have the strawberry version and the chocolate. These smell great. They smell great. Now, I'm gonna cut these on the diagonal as shown in the TikTok video. Nice and crispy. Look at the center, kind of jiggly. That's the chocolate. And let's cut the strawberry. Nice crunch. Let's see the center here, a little bit jiggly. All right, let's give the strawberry one a taste first. It's the doggy moss. Definitely love the big crunch on the outside. The middle is very soft. It's more like a bread pudding. The bread absorbs the custard that we made, which is essentially egg, yogurt, and honey. And it has a nice tanginess from the yogurt, but it's pretty squishy, at least in my case. This is a Pullman loaf of bread, just white bread. Let me show you the bottom 
the bread so you can see what I'm talking about. See, that's what the bottom looks like. Oh, my fruit's all falling off. So absorb the custard. The custard went all the way through the bread and the bread is pretty floppy. Now, based on my results, I imagine the type of bread you use is really going to affect your finished product. I used a white Pullman loaf of bread. If you used a sweetened kind of bread, a Portuguese kind of sweet roll or sourdough, that's going to really change the toast that you get. <laughs> my bread was pretty porous, so my custard sank through. If you use something that's denser, just like a loaf of grocery store bread, then I imagine the custard would sit more on the top. I would still think it would get pretty soggy. In terms of flavor, I like it. It's got that dairy richness and I like the tang from the yogurt. It's not overly sweet. We only added one teaspoon of honey. I would like a little bit of vanilla, I think. I think a little touch of vanilla would be a good addition. Mm-hmm. And I definitely like the crunch of the exterior. Based on these results, and in my opinion, the middle part of this toast is kind of soggy and more like French toast rather than like a custard sitting on top of a piece of toast. Of course, I think you could alter this recipe, say if you pre-toasted the bread a little bit and then put the kind of custard mix on top, maybe it'd be more like a custardy layer. Or maybe you like this kind of soggy French toast middle and more like a bread pudding. Then if that's the case, then this is perfect for you. I love the strawberries on top. Let's try the chocolate version. Alrighty, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the chocolate version is delicious. I use some semi-sweet chocolate chunks. It goes really well with the kind of eggy custardy base. It's not too sweet and the crunch of the toast and the softness of the bread in the middle is a really great combination. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. What happens if we put two pieces together like this and have it like a sandwich? Here we go. Mmm. Both the chocolate and the strawberries together are really great. The strawberries add a lot of tanginess, some freshness, and then you've got chocolate that just makes it taste delicious because it's chocolate. Definitely recommend the semi-sweet, like that a lot. But of course, use any chocolate that you like or any kind of combination of fruit that you like. So in my opinion, this is basically a toasted version of French toast rather than a thick puddingy custard on top of toast. It's still good, having said that, it is super fast and perfect for customization. You can make this to however you like it. You could even make a savory version if you like, just ripe for customization. There you have it, yet another TikTok recipe tested. It's not bad, is it sublime? No, is it terrible? No, is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it easy? Definitely. So if you're looking for something quick and easy and tasty and customizable, then this might be the recipe for you. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Be one of the first 1,000 to click the link down below to receive a month of Skillshare free so you can start exploring your creativity. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I shall see you in the next one. Doodaloo, take care, bye.